What I'd like to do is share with you some of the automatic reflex responses to some of the most common objections that we meet in the field every day. Invariably, as you're out doing your thing, you'll have somebody stop and look at you and say things like, uh, hey, well, I'm not interested. Did you ever hear that? I'd like to share with you two or three rapid word tracks that have really been instrumental in helping people overcome that. I got two of them from a friend of mine, Tom Norman, who's got more nerve than an abscessed tooth. He got a hold of one couple selling life insurance, as I recall, an appointment for life insurance in Cincinnati, and he gleaned off two responses. He, these people were the ones who said, we're not interested, we're not interested. They're almost like a broken record. That's all they responded with. And here's what Norman said. Initially, they said, well, Tom, we're not interested. To which Tom responded, perfectly all right. You're still entitled to know about it. And he went ahead with the conversation. And it seemed to almost overlay the entire process. And the people didn't immediately then respond. And Tom went ahead with the presentation. But they interrupted him again. And they said, Tom, we told you we're not interested. And then he came back with the second response. And he said, I know you're not. If you would have been interested, you would have called me. He said, my company is interested enough. People like you, they pay guys like me to call to see if I can create some interest. Fair enough? An open disclosure about where he is. Mm -hmm. You see, basically, I guess what I'm hinting and intimating at at this point is the fact that in selling, if you can have the courage to tell the truth, you'll win more than you'll lose.